Alright guys, back for part two of making your YouTube background. This is, uh, the fun part, I guess, kind of, I don't know. Um, so, uh, let's revise what we did in part one. So, in part one, we logged into a different YouTube account, the one that we're not making the background on. And then we took a screen, we took screenshots of our background and put them together to make a picture of our entire YouTube uh, YouTube page. So now we're gonna put that picture to use. I'm just gonna minimize this. Oh wait, okay now actually you might wanna sign out and then you might wanna log back in to your account that you're gonna be making the YouTube background for. Alright, go to your channel and play some music or something uh, while you're editing. See, I'm rendering part one right now. Oh, it's kind of laggy because of that. Alright, so we're going to go in Photoshop. Um, I'm going to make sure I save this. Okay, I saved it. going to make sure I saved it as a PNG file. Oh, wait, wait, no. Oh, my God. Save as PNG, not Pixar. Replace it. You're always going to have to override it when you're saving yours after editing it. All right. Now I'm going to... Yes. All right. Now we're going to go to File, Open. We're going to open up our background temp the one that has your whole background see like I said it's good it's okay to have more it's okay to have a white space because what you're gonna do with that white space is actually for now we're gonna grab the paint bucket tool and fill that in with like a with like a really light blue so we know that that's where it's not visible anymore Actually, no, we're going to, uh, all right, fine. Yeah, we'll just do that. Now, if, if your background layer has a lock on it, like mine does, uh, to get rid of that, that means you can't edit it at all. Well, you can, but you can't do some things. So you're going to double click that and then click OK. So now you have your YouTube background. You're just going to, um, let's see, what should we start with? All right, we're going to make a new layer and we're going to click the magnifying glass and go to actual pixels this is what this is the actual size of your youtube background this is what it's going to be so let's start from up top and go down oh no ah oh, crap uh try not to get that in there like i did uh crap oh well uh, this isn't, I don't know, oh wait, that won't matter actually, but just try not to get that, it might mess you up. Alright, so we're going to go to our shape tool, and if you're on like the rectangle tool or the ellipse tool, like that, just click and hold, and then you can go in here and click the rounded rectangle tool. The rounded rectangle tool looks best, but you can use the regular one. So we're going to start by going around all I'm gonna go from up to down so you want to do this with all of these little boxes so and remember to make a new layer for each box and it's also helpful to double click the name you know double click where it says layer one or layer two or layer whatever etika and you're gonna it's it's helpful to rename it name it I'm gonna call this top bar oops top bar so I know what it is it's gonna be helpful when you wanna like hide it or something alright now we're gonna keep doing this for all of the boxes I'll try and get it pretty good I'm not gonna I'm actually gonna try a little bit because this is going to be my background. Oops. See, 
see I messed up. I'm gonna have to redo that. Remember to do it on different layers. Alright. Now we're gonna name this videos. Oops. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, I can't type today. Videos. New layer. Uh, try not to make, try and get them not touching each other. Sometimes you have to, but whatever. You can just move it aside. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Name this, uh, let's see. Di uh, yeah, description. These are all, these are called models. Yeah, make a new layer. Alright, let's try and get this done kind of fast. Sub box. Actually, I'm going to do capital. Alright. New layer. That's very important. Remember to do new layers. Unless you want them all to be exactly the same, uh, then you can do them all in the same layer. Let's see. Uh, subscribe button. You can name these whatever you want. I know I misspelled subscribe. Oh well. Okay, those are touching. So, alright. If you accidentally make it so to where they're touching. See, this is touching almost two. You're just going to go to the move tool. And use your arrow keys to bring it down and to the side. Alright. And name this uh, channel descript I'm just going to name it channel descript new layer and now let's do the comments remember to go back to that tool or else you're going to have a tough time making the rectangles see I, I think I overlaid it again um some people like to do um two separate boxes for the where you add your comment where you type it and where it shows up uh, I don't like doing that personally though so you can do that though channel comment new layer all right here's the last one subscribers all right now this isn't perfect you're obviously gonna spend more time customizing this and you know making it how you like it Oops. Subscribers. Alright. Now I'm going to zoom out again to fit screen. Alright, there we go. Now we have all of our models. Oh yeah, here's a tip. I like to do this. I'm going to make a new layer. Zoom into the actual pixels again. And I'm actually going to overlay... I'm going to switch to the rectangle tool and I'm actually going to make a box over the video player. And then I'm going to make it white by going to cover color overlay and then changing the color to white. Now uh, it looks really nice to add an outer glow. You can make it whatever color you want. I like it to be more of a yellowish and the opacity to a hundred if you really want it to if you want your video to glow now you might have to move this around with the arrow keys if it turns out to not fit as well and alright so this looks okay this looks yeah it looks okay now adding color so basically what I'm gonna do for what I always do for just starting um, I go to right click the layer, go to blending options, and go to gradient overlay. Now I'll click OK. Uh, which one was that? Oh yeah, the top bar. Okay, so do that again to edit it. You can change the colors, click that. 
double click these things. Say I want red and uh, turquoise. Whoa, that looks really bad. But now I just click OK. You can actually play with any of those effects. Uh, contour makes it 3D-ish. You got the drop shadow, outer glow, inner shadow. I'm going to do them all. I'll do them all for you. Alright. See that? Now, once you got what you want, uh, never mind, I'm not going to do them all. I'm going to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, I actually like the stroke on that though. Alright, so. Once you have what you want, uh, that seems good. That's good enough. Um, you're gonna go to if, if unless you want this, unless you want to do everything individually, uh, you can do the same thing. But right click this, go to copy layer style, and then right click the next layer and do paste layer style. That'll make it exactly the same. You can go back and edit it later. And then I like to click this arrow so it hides all the effects. Otherwise, it's just gonna take up your room. Oops. Oops. see that all right now do that for all of your layers at least make them colorful make them how you like it paste layer style 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 keep doing that all right here's the last one Oh wait, no, I don't want that for my for my video player. So undo that. I don't have to rename this video player glow. All right, now we'll zoom out. Uh, fit screen, and this is what your channel is gonna look like. That looks actually, you know, if you have all the colors actually fitting everything, then that looks really good. Oh, no. Okay. I'll make a part three. Alright, see you guys in the next video.